Hello and welcome back to QB Factorium. In the past, we've done a few series on this game as it's progressed through Early Access. And recently, uh, it released out of Early Access and into a open game. Uh, for that release, I did a, a stream uh, on Steam and on my YouTube channel here. Uh, showing off the uh, the current state of the game in the huge map campaign or the huge map uh, game style. In this series, we're going to play the new camp or play the campaign, starting off at the very beginning and uh, moving our way through it, uh, progressing as it as it guides us, and, uh, and taking a look at also the, at the story and the way the game expands upon itself within the campaign itself. In addition to the campaign and the huge map, there are a series of tutorials that I have done over time and I have redone a couple of them especially with the ones around logistics and trains because uh, those are very specific functions and sometimes they require a little bit of refresher especially if it's been a little while between games also you can play a custom game where you can configure uh, one of these default scenarios or you can make a completely custom scenario turning on and off different settings as you choose the huge map is just a, basically a version of that a specific version of that uh, there are also a variety of settings. Um, the game has been updated at least once since I played on stream. So hopefully a couple of the things we encountered then have been touched up. Uh, some of the sound things specifically, and I think there were a couple other things too that, that I know the developer, um, Mirko, had um, had uh, had noted down. And of course some video settings as well. Um, I want to thank the developer for giving me the opportunity to play that on the stream on the on the uh, Steam channel, and uh, I hope uh, it was available for some of you who are considering the game and who have perhaps picked it up now, uh, thanks to or or with help from my my demonstration video on on Steam on the Steam page. So uh, let's go ahead and get started in the campaign. I want to go ahead and get started on this. Uh, this game, this series is going to run probably three times a week uh, for the duration of the campaign. I'm not sure how long that will be, but it'll be several episodes. And then uh, and then that'll be it. So this will come in the sort of feature slot that I have uh, in the morning US time. Um, if, you, uh, um, if you're if you in Europe, then that's mid-afternoon or so. Uh, so let's go ahead and get started. New campaign. And uh, there's only one campaign. I don't know if he intends on adding more campaigns or perhaps the game is moddable, so perhaps you can mod in campaigns. I haven't taken a look at the mods since uh, for quite a while, since the modding was actually made available in the game. Let's go ahead and get started on The Secret of the Ancient Wisdom. On a faraway island, there once was a prosperous nation. The people of that place lived in abundance, but this age of abundance was soon to turn into an age of scarcity. The land had nothing left to give to its inhabitants, and they waged war against each other over the last remaining resources. They forgot how they used to live in harmony with each other. Ulrich, the son of the chief of this nation, rallied his remaining people. Their last hope lies hidden in an ancient legend. It tells of a place in the Azure Seas where people once discovered the secret to a life of eternal abundance. And so they gathered their last belongings, said farewell to their homeland, and embarked on a quest to find the promised land and save their people. So, as you can see, the campaign is a series of, well, one, two, three, four, five, eight uh, mainline islands. And then there are these three uh, side islands where you can, um, you can choose to... Uh, choose to play those or not uh we're gonna play those as they come up so uh we're gonna it's gonna take us a, a bit because there's 11 islands but uh we're gonna work our way through it so let's go ahead and click on the first island atla oh look i see land wake up everyone we are saved this is a great tip to show up here um if you're first if this is your first attempt playing it because it is not a survival game. You're, the colonists eat and drink only to uh, maintain a happiness level, not to survive. So um, you don't have to worry about managing that critically. So we spawn here on this island. Uh, we have a little bit of a tutorial here on the uh, on, on the movement to the game and and you know whatnot there, and then we can also proceed to. Uh, 
out of the help there. And then I think it will give us... Yep. Ulrich, I would like to thank everyone who put their trust in me and stuck with me throughout our journey. I know it was hard for all of you. Nevertheless, we are just at the beginning of our quest and have no idea where it will take us. The gods seem to be on our side so far. I mean, look around, my friends. We've made it safely to this beautiful island. We would be lying to ourselves if we were to think that the resources here are infinite. Starting a new settlement and staying here would eventually lead to the same disaster we saw in our homeland. We must complete our quest at any cost. We must find the secret foretold in the legend. Thank you, Ulrich, for rallying us and taking us here. Without you, none of us, none of this would have been possible. It really is nice to walk in solid ground again. Wow, I've never seen so much, such a green and flourishing place. It must have looked like this on our homeland a long time ago. Look, there are ruins in the distance. I wonder if this island is inhabited. This place is fascinating. It's unlike anything I've ever seen before. I'm eager to uncover its secrets. I can sense that this place is very peaceful. But also, I feel that something darker awaits us. Yet I feel that we will be guided on our way. I hear you, Odelia. Our strength will be challenged, but we will have plenty of time to prepare. I know we can do this if we work together. For now, let's use our remaining energy to search for supplies. We can worry about the rest later. At your service. I may be exhausted, but I've never lacked motivation. So where to start? Let's begin by unloading all the supplies we have stored in our ship. All right, so the the story here, um, as I just uh, read, uh, leads us into what the um, what the, the tasks here are going to be as far as playing the game. So I'd like us to create a new stockpile zone to unload the ship. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to create two because um, I I'm ahead of I'm ahead of myself here a little bit. Uh, we're going to create one here. Actually, maybe I'll create yeah, I'll create two like that. And then unloading the ship. Uh, we you just click on the ship and then you right click on the stockpile to link those stockpiles there. I want to set this one to wood and this one to stone. I'm gonna have to do the all items thing here just to satisfy the uh, the quest, and then I can turn the stone back off again uh, just to just to satisfy. And then everybody comes and runs and unloads all of the items uh, as... Oh, nope, nope, done. Uh, log. Because it didn't work. <laughs> there we go. Come on over. Uh, one of the cool things that was added to this game at some point along the way is these little signs next to the stockpiles that show you what's stored or what's destined to be stored in that stockpile. Uh, that's, I think that's only if one or maybe a few items are uh, destined for that. Otherwise, it'll, it won't show anything. And they are unloading the ship. Good job, everyone. Alrighty, so that, uh, that quest is done. Oh, look, Ulrich, someone is coming our way. Hello there. I saw you when you arrived on this island with your boat. It seems like you've been on a long journey. What brings you to this place? It's nice to meet someone living on this island. Well, we had to leave our homeland because our resources were exhausted. Coming here is our last hope. We heard about the legend of the people of the Aegir Seas. We hope to find the secret of abundance and use it to put an end to the scarcity that haunts our people. Mm, yes, indeed. It is said that people discovered the secret of a never-ending life of prosperity. It is said that they lived in perfect harmony for hundreds of years. Yes, exactly. Do you know something about it? What have they found? Where could it be? Well, I won't be able to help much. Like you, I've heard about this legend before, but I've never attempted to investigate it further. In fact, I was born here and have stayed here on this lush and generous island ever since. So it's just you here? No one else is around? No one. The people of the legend died a long time ago. It may be one of their descendants, but I know nothing more about this legend. Your best chance is to look around and see if they left anything behind. Perhaps they wanted to share their secret, and left some clues for coming generations to discover. There are many other islands in these waters. If there is something to be found, it should be on one of them. Thank you, sir. Well, at least now we know where to go next. However, first we will have to rest before we continue on our quest. Please be welcome, and please call me, Ar call me Archibald. Even though I can't help you much with the legend, 
I can help you cover your basic needs on this island. That is a skill I have learned to master. I don't know how to thank you, Archibald. That is exactly what we need right now. Thank me later. For now, you should get to work. Start by building a well to supply your colony with water. You can survive without food for a while, but not without water. Come back when you are finished. Then I will guide you through the rest. Okay, so a well for water. That's uh, obvious and pretty easy. Uh, we can build by, by typing or pressing B or clicking the little hammer icon here. And then the well is here. And you can build the, the well anywhere you see uh, available land here. And I think I'm going to put it down here, kind of out of the way. And, uh, and put a little stockpile. Oops, messed that up. A little stockpile here to store the water in. And then we can right click or click on the well and right click on the stockpile. And one of the things, when, when a building produces just one item, the stockpile is automatically filtered to that item. So that's uh, nice, and use, nice and useful. While they're doing that, we also need to construct a bonfire to expand our territory. Uh, one of the nice tool or, uh, tips in this game is to use alt click on a building. And if you place that, then you can place that building down as a clone of, of the previous one. So we can expand out our, uh, our territory here using a bonfire. And there's our water supply quest just finished. Speed the game up just a little, just to let them get that finished. And now uh, we have a quest to recruit castaways. There are some castaways over here. Uh, you can see their flag here. Uh, we just need to expand our, our territory over there to, to collect them. Uh, and what I want to do here is I want to go through some of the other functions of the game because uh, we need to expand that way, but we, we also need to clear some land here. So one of the things you can, to clear land, you need to use the mine and harvest tool. So, Archimbald, my people now have all the water they need. Well done. Well done, old Rich. It's now time to think about food. You have no idea what a delicious meal will do for a man. You should build farms and grow some crops. Okay, so we're going to clear some land. And uh, you do that just by clicking this little axe here, or uh, plus pressing M. And you can kind of um, draw a box around the area you want to clear. Trees, rocks, uh, different plants also. That one must be outside of my little range here. Uh, anything that's on the ground, including actually the mountain ground here, that uh, if you want to also clear out the mountain, which is not a bad idea. Uh, I think I want to also clear out over here and maybe put the farms over here. All right, good. They, and they, the colonists will skill up as they do different tasks like uh, mining and harvesting, cooking, um, farming. I don't know exactly what skill is, is improving uh, or is um, helping with the water uh, production here, but um, whichever one it is, that as well. And there's also little bits of... Let me see if I can cancel that. There's little bits of weed and stuff that's laying on the ground in various places. Uh, here's a stump we could clear. Um, the weeds don't give you anything when you clear them, otherwise it would tell you here, as the stump does, for example, uh, or the trees do. Um, but sometimes you want to clear the stuff just to get it off the land. So, there is that. I'll go ahead and select these rocks here, too, for, for mining. Let's go ahead and put down a farm. We don't need a very big farm for this. So let's go to a farm, and uh, we'll put down... Actually, that's probably even too big. Let's just do a 3x2 farm. We'll do two of them. If you are trying to build or zone out something that has an object blocking it, like a tree, it will just draw the zone around that object. So you don't have to worry about... Uh, Uh, making sure that you you clear the land first and some things like the weeds will clear automatically when you try to place a building let's do a stockpile just a small one here maybe and then we'll click on the farm right click on the uh, on the stockpile and it will set the um, the output and the little flag there tells you that there's something not right and you can see how to fix it here on the screen uh, which I'll show the next time we have one um, you can see here we're, we're farming tomatoes, uh, strawberries and tomatoes, and then here's the, the item uh, as edible as opposed to as plantable uh, that you can see.
And then we also need to own one wheat. And we have a bunch of wheat here growing wild. So we can just clear that. And I'm just going to clear the whole thing. Uh, because it'll just sit here on the ground. It doesn't, nothing spoils or rots. Uh, so you don't have to worry about, you know, farming in a timely manner. It'll work out in the end. If you want to expand a zone of any kind, whether it's a stockpile or a farming zone or whatever, uh, you want to make sure that you, you, when you select the tool, you click in the existing zone and then drag to expand into the area you want to expand into. If you don't do that, it'll actually form a separate zone as these two are separate, even though I drew them next to each other. So you have to drag from the existing zone out into the open space if you want to uh, expand a zone. Let's do that. Uh, we need to own one strawberry. So once they get the farming going on the strawberries, then we will... Um, we gotta get plant it first, though. Ready to water. Yeah, they need to collect some water and then plant the strawberries. We'll go ahead and pick up these, these two and those as well. Just get everything cleared out of this area. That way we can uh, continue with... With the, with the tasks as necessary. And that you can see they use one water to water multiple tiles. So it's not like it's a one to one water to tile ratio. They just need uh, one water to, to water, one water unit to water several tiles. I didn't see how many it was, but it might be like six or eight or 10 or 12 even. So I'm going to go ahead and put this wheat in a stockpile too, right here. I'm just going to designate that as wheat. Automatically, the game will only show you the items you've discovered. So we don't have to pick through that whole list that we saw um, when it showed all uh, on this stockpile. Uh, it, we can we can limit it, so that, or it limits it automatically so you don't have to see everything to pick. And if you want something that's not here, that you haven't discovered yet, you can type and it'll show everything. So that's nice too. All right, strawberries should be harvestable pretty soon. We have strawberry plants, but um, they're outside of our range. Let's go ahead and clone this and expand this way while we're talking. Let's also expand this way. Yeah, because they don't have anything else to do anyway, so they might as well do some work. You can see that um, stone collects in four, uh, in a stockpile, four blocks or four chunks per uh, per tile. Wood is six chunks per tile, so there's 36 in here, whereas there's only 24 stone in here. So different resources. Uh, wheat is also a four per tile resource. Okay, good. We can we can start mining some of this um, uh, some of these strawberry plants. Oh, I feel much better with a full belly. I couldn't even remember the last meal I had. Now that you've eaten well, you should rest a little. Benches would be perfect for that. You don't say. Uh, we can actually just take out these trees too. And there's some there's some weeds here that are going to get picked up. So let's go ahead and uh, create a bench. Uh, that's under the build menu as well. And oh no, we can't. Uh, why can't we make a bench? Probably because we need to learn how to craft stuff first. Uh, so we need to construct a basic workplace. Uh, one of the other good things about these tutorials is you can click on this to get the building that's needed to build. So we need to create a basic workplace to make wooden boards and one to create stone blocks or uh, to, to make stone blocks. I'm going to create two of those. Uh, I want to take out that bit of mountain right there. In the mountain, you'll usually find stone or rocks rather. Uh, some places you'll also find clay and I don't see any on this mountain. There's usually little divots you can see in the mountain surface where there's a hidden resource like clay or later ore. Uh, let's do a stockpile here, a stockpile here, and we're going to set this one to stone blocks and output, and we'll set this one to wooden boards and output. You can limit your outputs if you'd like of a specific item, or in this case, I'm limiting it by whatever fits in the stockpile. Otherwise, it's unlimited. And then we need to construct a bench once we have the materials made to construct a bench with. We can continue expanding our territory out. Uh, I'm going to put one here. I'm going to put one in this area here, but I want to clear a bit of this mountain first. We'll give some people, a few people something to do. And of course, we want to expand this way as well, so that, which will eventually take over the land the colonists are on, or the castaways are on, and they'll join our colony. Uh, that's how you claim, by the way, uh, a, a castaway group, 
is just by um, having your land cover what's already theirs. That makes sense. Okay, we have stone blocks and wooden boards. I want to get the four of each, and then we'll um, and then we'll build a bench. Mm. And it takes them a while to chop through a mountain, so you don't want to do too much of this. But it's it's okay to do a, a chunk of it at a, t at a time. And they'll just they'll just keep chopping at it. Right now, also they don't have any tools. Uh, they'll be able to get tools later as the game as the game progresses. And uh, when they have tools, then uh, they will um, they'll be able to chop. Excuse me, to chop things faster, including trees and rocks. Uh, everything is chopped faster with tools. And some things require tools to chop. So keep that in mind as well. And we have claimed these colonists, which means they'll come and help us. They also have some cows. Uh, we recruited four people. Ingvar. Let's see who they were. Ingvar, John, somebody, and somebody else. Uh, this is our colonist list, by the way. Let me, let me pause for a moment. This is our colonist list. Uh, we currently have... 12 people. We had let's have had eight to start with, and then we gained four more uh, from the from the camp here. Um, each colonist has a happiness indicator here, and they're all not happy at all for various reasons, which we'll dig into as time kind of progresses, I think. Uh, but they need like housing, they need some place for fun, and, and then they'll start gaining some happiness. They also many of them can use tools, so once we can start making tools, we'll take a look at that. Uh, you can zone the land. We'll get into this uh, probably in some of the later uh, missions uh, to, to restrict access. And that's really useful for where you have uh, maybe some colonists out here collecting items out in the wild. And uh, you don't want them you don't want them coming back and forth or you don't want them um, you know jumping from one area that they're harvesting to another. Maybe you want to keep your farmers all real close to the farm. Stuff like that. So you can create different zones to, to restrict people to them. And then finally, the jobs. And each person has a lot of default jobs. And you can deselect these to um, have them focus on specific tasks. Right now, this early of a, of a campaign level, we're just going to leave it alone. Unpause again. Uh, but we can also uh, tame these cow. And we'll do that hopefully soon. Um, but... Not yet. Put this down here. Uh, I'm going to take out this tree. So I want to put another um, another fire there. And then out here, we need another one. Eventually. I'll wait. We can also pick up these random... Um, plants here to uh so we have more uh, more food if we need it which we probably don't all right we've got everything but the bench so we click on the bench and we can place a bench that's that simple let's put it over here by this campfire and then once they they'll come and build that and then once they come and build that we'll be good i think i'll go ahead and put one out here even though it's basically the edge of the map just to claim the edge of the the edge of the map there Go ahead and take a little bit more land here. Oh, sitting down feels really good after running around all day. I can imagine that. You also need some shelter to sleep properly. You're all beginning to look like zombies. You can build simple houses to get some sleep and feel more at home. All right, let's build a house. Uh, that's a barn. Oh, we need to own wooden parts, right? If you if you follow the instructions game and the game, you'll know what you're supposed to do. So wooden parts are also made in one of these. Uh, they're made from if you hover over it here, wooden boards, stone blocks, and wheat. Huh, we have those. So we'll clone that building, and then we can select wooden parts, and then we can set up another stockpile. Uh, I did the wrong thing. I did the, the mine tool. Uh, there we go. And the flag's cleared, and the little signs are up, and we're making wooden parts now. We're able to make wooden parts now. Great. Clear that. Uh, other, also scattered around the map, you'll find these different uh, chests. The chests contain usually uh, some common and some less common resources, at least in terms of the level of technology that we're currently at. So we can mine that chest and collect those items as well. And one of the kind of interesting things is, since this contains some things we can't make yet, 
that they'll actually be not only become available, but some of the things that you can make with them will also become available. I think I'll put up the housing over here. That'll be fun. So, acquiring the wooden part that we just made has unlocked cottage house, shipping port, kiln, textile workplace, and stone tool workshop. So we need to build two cottage houses. We also need four wooden parts. I'm going to let them build up those four wooden parts first. Alvina over here is doing something. Uh, we can also destroy these ruins if we want. Uh, we may or may not want to. Let's keep expanding out there. These are also uh, flowers. And they're used to make flower pots, mini golf spots, arbor benches. Um, they used to be used to make tea, but as I discovered when I was playing through the uh, huge map on the um, on the uh, on, during the stream, uh, that's no longer the case. Tea's only made from tea leaves now. Three wooden parts and counting. Let's go ahead and uh, clean out a little bit more of this mountain. We'll set up some housing over here. This is a bivouac shelter. We can uh, destroy it and get a piece of fabric if we wanted to. There's our fourth uh, wooden part. So let's build a couple of cottage houses. If you look real close, you can see there is a front to the cottage house. Um, it's it's a little bit hard to tell if you're not sure, but uh, I'm going to put these two like this and then we'll maybe put in a road right here. Uh, there is a road construction tool. You can make mud roads, which are insta-build and don't require anything. Or you can make stone roads, which require rock to be in a stockpile. and But they are still insta-build. So we can just build a bit of a road here. And that'll eventually connect down here or whatever. If we want it to. And they'll, uh, they'll gather up the parts here and come and build that. Actually, looks like they already are. It tells you here also how much of each resource you need. We need one wooden part and one stone block to make it. And it tells you how many resources you have in stock as well, which is really nice. That's a quality of life thing that was added somewhat recently. Keep taking out uh, different things. We might need some more trees chopped down as well. Well, it seems that all your basic needs are taken care of. As a result, your people are more satisfied and productive. Unfortunately, there's not much more I can help you with. That's already more than enough. Now we are prepared to continue our adventure. I am grateful that we crossed your path. The pleasure is all mine. Farewell. All right, people, let's continue our quest and sail to the closest island we can reach from here. But actually, I'm not going to do that just yet. Because uh, one of the things that I happen to know about this game that uh, perhaps a new player won't know is that the more resources you gather on an island, the more resources you get to take with you when you leave that island. So uh, it's not like it's a roguelike or a roguelite. You can take anything you gather with you. So I want to keep expanding. I want to basically uh, mine everything, except for maybe like trees. That's a plum tree, but I'm going to mine that. But maybe not trees, but basically everything else I want to mine because I want to take it all with me. Even some trees too, but uh, some wheat. Um, I want to mine a lot of stuff. Let's go ahead and take out this part of the mountain as well. I'll take out some of these trees. These... Um, these ferns are, are like the weeds. They're, they're decorative only. So don't uh, focus on clearing those. Um, unless you need the land for something. Get those out. That's out of my range. And then up here, uh, a lot, some of the maps contain this little uh, Christmas-themed area. Uh, which I, I don't know if it's going to be removed after the holiday season here. It used to be in the game all the time. Um, but I don't know if it's going to be removed after or not. Let's add one more house. Because we have 12 people, so we need to have 12 housing slots, of which we only have 8, because there's 4 people per uh, cottage house. So we'll add one more house. and we can, So we can leave the island wherever we want, but I'm going to wait a little bit to leave, just to collect a bit more resources and, and have, have myself ready to go. You don't have to have stuff in stockpiles, it just has to be mined. So uh, we're going to go ahead and do that. And actually, I'm going to mine this bivouac shelter, too. Because why not? So here um, in this Christmas area, uh, the presents work just like chests. So we want to mine those. The snowman is decorative, so we're not going to destroy him. Uh, there is a bench up here, which is fine. And then the pine trees are, are the same, as well as the Christmas trees. They just contain one log, so you don't need to really focus on those. Um, I just want to make sure that we collect the things that we kind of need here. And then I'm going to add one more in here, I think. Should be good. 
It's a little off my uh, my little grid here, but it'll be fine. But we can also, if you want, if you don't like the mess, you can also create just a nice big stockpile like this, and just set it for all, and then like take out the things you have already stockpiled for, uh, and then that way they won't overfill your stuff. But then they, you can put in this, the other stuff you've seen, or you can just click the stuff that you that you have on the map that they don't have a uh, destination for. You see, they brought that wheat there, even though, and and uh, also this. Um, wait a minute. Okay, good. Uh, you can see now it selected everything, everything. So that's kind of up to you on how you want to manage all of that. But they'll just start bringing everything here as they uh, pick it up now. And the wheat they threw out. You can see they threw it out of the stockpile because it's no longer allowed in here. Same thing with the tomatoes. If there were room over here, they would bring that over here. Uh, looks like there is room for wheat. And otherwise, they're just going to keep kind of working at uh, collecting things up. Some branches there and some charcoal. I assume charcoal was in the filter. Yeah. So they're just going to collect all that stuff up. But you don't have to do that. Like I said, uh, they will... Um, they will... They will... Take everything with them that's on the ground. It's been mined already. Um, you just have to have mined it. I mean, maybe we should take these flowers too. Just for fun. There's some, there's some more plants and plum trees. We'll take those. So that's just kind of what I what I like to do. Um, is make sure I mine everything that looks interesting on a map before I leave. I'm going to speed the game way up. There is a, there's a speed 1 and a speed 2 here. And then speed zero is obviously the uh, is pause, but there's also a speed three that's hidden, and that's what we're at right now. It's like a hyperspeed. I'm not sure if you have to have an advanced setting turned on in order to enable that or not, but uh, I use it like here at the end where I really want to just get everything finished up and mined and collected, and then once all the X's are gone, uh, we've collected a lot of stuff. Um, we'll uh, we'll move on. Looks like we might be there now. Slow it down again. Yep, I think we're there, so let's leave the island. And uh, we've won. Uh, we have all these people. We've seen, we see now, or rather we see what all the skills they've gained up to in this uh, level. And we can leave the island. And we're going to leave this episode here too. So in the next episode, we'll start on the second island, Grape. Great, another green paradise. And uh, we'll do the same thing there. We'll collect a bunch of stuff. And then uh, we'll follow through the quest, of course. And then we'll move on from there. So thank you all for joining me. And I'll see you next time. Bye for now.